So the Prophet ﷺ, there was so much preparation for his coming, so much preparation. And the, uh, the Jews and the Christians had news of his advent, which is why, when, and when we get into this later, which is why of, of the, the seven cities of Revelation, in the book of Revelation, the seven cities of Revelation, which were the centers of Christianity, all of them became Muslim. They're all Muslim. So all of the Eastern Christians, with small exception, became Muslim over this period of time. One of the reasons why the Nestorian Christians, not so much the, the Byzantine who were Orthodox, but you had the Nestorian and the Jacobite, the Malachite, but the, uh, these Christian sects that were in this area were, were basically, um, they were expecting a prophet. I mean, even if you look in the Gospel with John the Baptist, he was asked, um, you know, are you, are, are you Elias and Elijah? And, and the, the, most, the Jews have a belief, like some Muslims, not all the Muslims, but some of the Muslims, that Elijah uh, still walks the earth. Some actually equate Elijah with al Khadr. And some say that al Khadr is different, but Elijah still walks the earth. And that's why they said, are you Elijah? And then he, he said, no. And he said, are you the Messiah? He said, no. And he said, are you that prophet? And he said, no. So he, he mentions the Messiah, and then he mentions another prophet that's different from the Messiah. Now we know Jesus was the Messiah, so where's that prophet? Because John the Baptist was uh, the prophet immediately before Jesus, and so there's another prophet mentioned, and John the Baptist said, no, I'm not that prophet. So who is that prophet? And then if you look in, in John 16, where they, Jesus says he has to leave so that the, the paraclete can come, and then the, he describes the paraclete. He says that the paraclete um, will come and he will abide with you. In other words, his sharia is going to stay. I mean, the Christians interpret it to be the Holy Ghost, but we know that John the Baptist was baptizing with the Holy Ghost. We know that Jesus was supported by the Holy Ghost. So the, the idea that he had to leave so that the Holy Ghost could come does not really make sense if you look at, at the idea that he's all, the Holy Ghost is already with him. But this is, this is what he says, that he, he's going to come after me, and I have to leave so that he can come. Now he calls him the paraclete, uh, parakletos in the Greek, means an advocate or a shafi'a in Arabic. That's what it means, shafi'a in Arabic. If you look it up in any Greek dictionary, parakletos means shafi'a. Now some of the Muslims said, if you change the voweling of it, and parakli, par, parakletos means the praised one. So it's very similar, Allahu anam. But the word that Jesus says, when he, te he says that he is giving news of a prophet, uh, he doesn't say Muhammad, he says Ahmad. Now Ahmad is the Prophet's name on Yawm Qiyamah when he's the Shafi'i. He's Ahmad al Shafi'i. Muhammad is his name here. So the Prophet. Now the other thing is the word in Aramaic for the Paraclete, if you look at the earliest Aramaic translation, is Muhammadah. Muhammad, which is, according to Ibn Hisham and our scholars, is Syriac for Muhammad. Now, when these Christian, Eastern Christians heard Muhammad, they looked in their book and it said, there's, a, there's somebody, I have to leave so that Muhammad could come. So they just said, Muhammad, Muhammad, that's close enough. <laughs> <laughs> and many of them became Muslim.